Welcome back to, I believe, episode 5, which that means we could post this on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Really? And stuff. Is that, yeah, that the you limit need, for you it? You need a minimum of 5 to be able to, so we could do that. Maybe we're on there now. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far I get. Anyways. We've officially taken the first step into greatness. <laughs> this, this episode and the next one are going to be weird topics because I think we went pretty serious on the other four. Mm, yeah, semi. But, yeah, Semi-serious. I mean, the concert one is probably the most iffy. The rest is, yeah. So now this is where it gets stupid. This is where we <laughs> dive into the topics that nobody asked for and nobody wants, but you're going to get it anyway. So, as I was writing down ideas, which I think I mentioned in the previous episode, I have a notebook of ideas, I'm moving it fast so you can't read it. Um, in my head, I don't know why I've disappeared, and I'm getting a bad shadow, I apologize. I don't want my microphone to be blocking my face. In my weird head, I thought, hey... I've heard of this back in like junior high. Would you rather face 1,000 human sized ducks or 10,000 duck sized humans? I don't know how we could get dumber than this, <laughs> but we're starting off strong. Wait a minute, so our numbers are 1,000 and 10,000? So 1,000 adult size. So let's just, let's just go six feet. Six feet. So a little because bit I... taller than average. A thousand of them. I feel like I'm going to get wiped out either way. Because, dude, 10,000 people size. Or 1,000. Duck size, too. Yeah, that's, I can't that's the confusing part. <sighs> so, the ducks are tall. The, humans the human ducks are and the duck little size. people. That's what I'm going to refer to it as. The human ducks and the little people. The 1,000 human ducks. Though, oh, my God. Have you ever seen, like, ducks? They will fuck you up. They're ornery when they get into a fight. And I can't imagine fighting people-sized ones, so I think I'm out there. But ten thousand people the size of ducks? Oh no, so, they got that. Uh, they got the number advantage there. You're definitely going down. So I personally, I think you lose either way. <laughs> so, I the my initial thought with this, and I, of course I got to go with a SpongeBob reference. Why the Wumbo episode when he makes everyone small? That's what I imagine the duck-sized humans would be like. Okay, so you're going like tiny, tiny. Oh, wait. Well, I guess they'd be bigger. But, I mean, they would... Like, I would just start kicking them, and then it's like they make me run that way. They trip me over. I try and go the other way, and then they end up tying me down. Because they have the intellect, too. Like, yeah. ducks are just They're ducks. Not they're not uh yeah the, the the people aren't dumb they're just small but there's ten thousand of them okay do i get a choice of weapons do we get I, a weapon in I this i mean i i think so like uh well first let's let's go like no weapons first no weapons. no weapons and then we can figure out like with weapons how much better oh god hand-to-hand -hand combat oh hand-to-hand -hand combat one thousand dollars that are six feet tall or humans that are like two feet tall but ten thousand of them yet no one has weapons yet you know what maybe i would take the ducks on this one simply because ducks have like softer bones like because they're birds right they gotta fly so they have lighter bones uh i would take the ducks simply on the fact that if you're lucky maybe a really good swing you would clock one and like I don't know, knock it out right away. Because it's got softer bones than a person, right? So you just need like one good one good smack upside the head and it's going down. So maybe so, maybe we try that. So for me I gotta say I'm the opposite. Maybe because like well I guess I'd have the height advantage on either one. But to me, like if it was one duck after the other, I feel like yes, I could do that. But I just imagine like six of those cluckers just surrounding, surrounding me and just, I don't know how ducks attack, do swing their necks? Or they just, just peck the shit out of you. 
They just smack you with their bill. Like, that would be terrifying to look at. Just a bunch of ducks about my height and just destroy me. But Or if I your feel... name is Daffy, you get Elmer Fudd to point a shotgun at you. <laughs> but I feel like I could... <laughs> I could probably knock about six of, them, six of them out with one kick for the human. Like, just one swift kick, and then I just got to do that however many math mathy times. And I mean, I suppose. I'm, I'm okay, but now if we're going this. with weapons, what are we? Hold what on, are we? Do we... How many kicks I would need to... <laughs> You get, you're going to do the math on that? How are you going to work I, I the math need... on that? You know the you know the velocity of your kick? No, I was just saying, like, if I got six of them gone in one kick, I would need 1,667 kicks, roughly. So, oh, goodbye. Um, anyways, we'll continue. Just, <laughs> you get um, you got you got the known velocity of the kick down, huh? No, no, I just assume I can get like six of them on one kick i got i got long strides as you yeah. know ivan's making another guest appearance here because he just got home oh well he just he, got back he's to the lost dentist, in so the he's... alien forest the space forest yeah he's, he's in the background yeah that's a good spot for him but okay. uh well that's what we that's what we were talking about that's what we're moving into if we get so if we get weapons, should we go with? Sorry, I was dusting off my camera. Oh, I'm moving my camera too much. I was dusting no, off my camera. No, excuse me. Ten thousand of the duck-sized humans. One. I got. Hold on. I I'm getting derailed over here because everybody else is uh, got a, is jumping in on this now in the background. You've got Ian you've got a group couple, discussion over here. Ian has a roommate and his girlfriend. Uh, so they're they're trying to figure it out in the background. I say let's move on to the weapons. They can catch up when they catch yeah, up. Yeah, they'll catch up when they catch up. So, like, sh should we do our weapon of choice or? Uh okay. So are we doing like ranged weapons or melee weapons? I I think we just do which I I, I want to say let's not do like an RPG because <laughs> that's just a little too much. Oh, 40 mic mic grenade launcher. I guess maybe Does that just count? Melee, melee weapon? I think that would be more fair because just the duck sized humans, they. And the ducks can't really hold the gun. Well, I mean, yeah, that's fair. The gun's only for you. You've got to face 1,000 human sized ducks or 10,000 duck sized humans, and you don't want any kind of ranged weapon. I'm to, at least an M240 Bravo. Like, something belt-fed. Okay, just kind of lay fire down in any swath that you need to. You know what I'm saying? Or a 40 mic mic. <laughs> you just... Chung, chung, chung. You just send a couple of grenades out there and thin out the herd. So, I'm going to go... I'll have to figure out, because I have my weapon for the duck-sized humans, and I'm not going guns. Because I think this would just be badass. What about a scythe? Just a straight up scythe, like for Ooh. cutting grass. Just cut off. How about a, how about I, a I was claymore? Just about to say like a a great sword. I was just about to say a sentence that would not belong anywhere on any website. <laughs> um, you gotta go. No, you gotta hit him with that that claymore, that great sword, so you can just like. Oh, I thought you were in talking a, in the uh, squat. Talking the boom claymore, I'm like, wire, I don't trust myself wire mine where you just detonate it towards them full front. I might use like a boom claymore for the 1,000 duck-sized humans, depending on the radius. Like, if I got like the Washington Mall, where it, which is a park, just so yeah, that's so another thing. Know. Where's where like, where's the battlefield that this is taking place? Is it a place of our I choosing, or is it designated? That. Because that I, makes all the difference in the world. How about how about this? An abandoned mall. An abandoned mall. An abandoned that, one. That both so intriguing and terrifying. Lighting. You got the mood lighting to set the horror scene. And... That is absolutely horrific, and I don't so, want to imagine that at all. 
So I still go with my scythe for. Uh, would I do it for the tall ducks? If I had to go with. I think I'd stick with the scythe c just because I'm thinking of other medieval weapons and I don't trust myself with any one of them. What, what, oh, what about a mace? Oh, that, a mace versus the human-sized ducks. Oh, you get a good swing around on that mace, you crack a son of a gun on the side of the head. I'd be nervous I'd crack myself. <laughs> That's probably true. I'd probably hit hit my own leg or something and break my shin. Um, I, 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 think, I know I would do it. I think I just got to go with the 10,000 duck-sized humans in my professional opinion. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. You know, if I could guarantee that I would be facing each tall duck yeah, one on probably. one, I would pick them. But considering it's all at once, or it could be, it could not be. We're in an abandoned mall. I I just had the vision like I'm looking around for the tall ducks, and then I just see one come around the corner. We lock eyes, and then it just gives one mighty quack, and then they're just. All on top Wah. of me. Wank. <laughs> Affleck. Oh, no. Holy shit. <laughs> you, you just hear one good echo down the hallways as it. And then like, you hear a thousand. <laughs> through the. <laughs> and you just see a bunch of eyes light up in the darkness. Jesus, I don't even want to think about that now. That's terrifying. Thought of another That's way terrifying. you could defeat them but it's more of a long term kill you just throw bread at them because they can't they can't <laughs> you, you they're not rain, supposed to eat bread so you just Walmart. chuck loaves throw pieces of bread at them find all the I got the perfect solution find <laughs> all the rice you can find <laughs> and you fill a giant because rice is not good for birds right like it I guess I it rice backs was. them up because that's why I thought bread. Rice isn't good for pigeons. I know that. They tell you not to throw rice at weddings no more. Because of stuff like that. So I would try, I'd just well, go buy some bags of rice. I think, I think it backs them up. Feed them a bunch of rice and Sprite. Because right. what is it? Right. Birds can't pass gas Mentos. or whatever, right? Mentos. Yeah. But Mentos and give Coke. A bunch, <laughs> give them a bunch of Diet Coke and Mentos and just let them swell up and then until they like that one bird in Shrek when Fiona was singing. You don't remember that one? Oh yeah, I remember that one. I don't know, have we beaten this into the ground yet? Because I feel like we've gotten there. I feel like we've gotten pretty close. Is there anything else we could add on to this one to make it more I, dumb? I thought based off. a time limit. Like, do you have to do it in a certain amount of time? Like, Ooh, is it, a is time it, limit. So, so is it like, if there's a time feel, limit, do you have to survive and then you get to escape them all, or do you have to defeat them in a certain amount of time? Well, okay, what if it's like a thing where they like release you for like a week and you have to survive a week against them or something like that, you know what I mean? Turn it into like a game show type of thing. And if you win, then you get like I'd, if you I'd if you if you win, they give you like a hundred million. They give you like some exorbitant amount to make it worth doing that. It'd be like winning the lottery. <laughs> I mean, you're still getting a lot more with the lottery, but I I have been looking up odds, and the odds are just stupid. I mean, you got a week surviving against those creatures, and you can have, like, any sort of defenses that you can muster, can use resources to your advantage. Like, it's like you surviving. And obviously, if, if you lose, well, then I uh, guess you lost it all. But if you win, you get uh, pretty wealthy like that. Uh, would it be a coin flip on which one you would get then? If we're getting really technical? Um... Maybe it would if, be, yeah. Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to turn it into a random like you can't have them pick because obviously if they pick they're gonna pick one that they have already calculated out how to beat. Well, I'm glad. I don't know if we can 
beat this any further, but we started out with which one we would get, which one we would rather face, and then we got into um, now it's we're in an abandoned mall be... for a week, competing for one hundred million dollars on a coin flip, <laughs> and we cannot pick. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, would, would there we've, be uh, weapons pretty far from it. Would there be weapons uh, in the mall if we're doing weapons? a game show style? Or do you just have to find random scraps of? Yeah, you have to find. <laughs> yeah, like you have to go to like the mall, uh, like clothes stores to find like different shirts for armor, <laughs> and um, if you're really lucky, there's an abandoned Cabela's in the corner with a Deagle <laughs> and 50 BMG. <laughs> I know. Excuse me. It'd be 58. God, 50 BMG out of a Desert Eagle. That pistol would be as wide as your hand. Oh. No, you have to scrounge up whatever melee you can from the from the stuff at the mall. Yeah, I'd do it. You could use like a, a chair from the cafeteria and like fashion the ends into a spear point. You'd have a four prong spear. Just like sprint at them. I think the money would be worth it enough. Yeah, I think you could do it a week. Your ra the only the only thing you have for rations are whatever the uh, food courts <laughs> were selling. When the mall shut down, I feel like so you got like to month old some, some stuff, month old Somewhere. subway uh, sandwiches and. Oh, I'd do it. It's a dollar amount enough. I wor It's worth it. It's why I do it. Yep. I think we beat this one in the ground pretty well. If it was, only I would for do it. A mill, would you do it? For a million, not a chance in hell. No, million dollars is not a lot. <laughs> no, hundred million is my limit. You got to at least be able to set me up for life. A million dollars, I could set me up for like a year or two. Um, if it, if I could choose which one, I would do it for a million. All right, yeah, that's fair. If you choose, choose which one, you get a million. I could do that. Yeah. Okay, well, this is this topic is dead. Um, I hope <laughs> we enlightened you today. <laughs> yes, you've clearly been enlightened on the intricate knowledge of choosing 1,000 human-sized ducks or 10,000 duck-sized humans. Well, I'm glad this idea came to fruition, and I hope we don't revisit it. <laughs> It's, <laughs> at some point in the future, we will always reference this now. This will become an inside joke. Mark my words. Probably. Or if we revisit it, we just change the animal. Or if we want to get all of you involved, comment down below and put your scenario. And then maybe we could do it like a live stream and we go through, like, we get a certain amount of subscribe i don't know this is the fifth episode i haven't uploaded a single one yet <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there when we get there i wanted to make sure that we had plenty of podcasts and that we were both gonna show up and do this regularly <laughs> so yeah so we, 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 make sure we got a schedule going so yeah we've been recording these for about a month now uh we've recorded two uh, then it was Labor Day. We recorded two. Last week we forgot, and now, now we're and two. now we're here. So, yeah, we're 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 good at this. Yeah, we're we're good professional at people who do this. Yeah, we're professionally. Good. Yeah, as you can tell by the lighting and the shadows. Unless you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or the thousand other ones that I'll try and post this to, then you can't see shit. But I hope you heard our message. Anyways, we're at about 20 minutes recording, so. Oh, shit. So, all we, right. need a, we need a quote. Oh, God. I forgot all about the quotes. Um, I already. Dang it. Um, I got one. Confucius say, man who go to bed with itchy butthole, wake up with smelly finger. <laughs> um, that's my That's my quote. I guess my quote is go twins go. We just clinched AL Central. Now let's win the World Series. Okay. That's about enough. Okay. We'll see you next time when we talk about some other stupid shit. Take her easy now. Bye. <laughs>